Hi everyone, in this video we are going to discuss about penetration testing phases or the pen testing phases roughly known as uh, ethical hacking phases. So first of all what is pen testing or penetration testing? So pen testing is a simulated cyber attack on some applications like we have this application we can have some other application as well so like and uh, some uh, systems like windows based system or we can also have some infrastructure where we have router and switches they are connecting these different computers so this is the attack against any application infrastructure or some systems to find out its vulnerabilities or loopholes so these all can have some loopholes or vulnerabilities and we want to find out those this is known as pen testing or penetration testing now vulnerability is actually a weakness and that weakness can be in a program which is installed in our computer or that weakness can be in some of the protocols for example these router and switches are are, be are working on the basis of uh, on the basis of some protocols and those protocols can have weaknesses there and also there can be weaknesses in the configurations so we configure these computers and devices we can have weaknesses in there as well so a simulated cyber attack to find out weaknesses in all these things is known as pen testing and for this pen testing or penetration testing or for uh, for this simulated cyber attack we have different phases and i'm going to discuss these phases now so there are seven phases of penetration testing the first phase is pre-engagement second is information gathering third is threat modeling Fourth is vulnerability analysis. Fifth is exploitation and then post exploitation. And last is reporting. So the first phase is pre-engagement phase and that in this pre-engagement phase, a formal agreement is uh, agreed or, or, or is um, finalized between the organization which is going to hire the penetration team and the pen testing team. So there is organization and the penetration team, they come up with a mutual agreement and they define the scope of that penetration test or, or, or of this pen testing um, activity. Now, in this scope means there will be definition or this will be a written agreement between the organization and the penetration team that what the penetration tester is allowed to do and what they are not allowed to do. For example, there can be some of the computers which, which will be used in pen testing, but some of them cannot be. Like some of the application, the pen testers will be allowed to pen test those uh, applications and uh, some of the application will not be allowed for them. So in this way, what to do and what not to do, this will be covered in this free engagement phase. And then also they need to have the contact information so for instance, for instance during pen testing if there is some problem then who to contact so in this case the contact information should also be available with the pen testing team and there should also be time allocation for the test so pen testing should uh, should be done within certain time limits so after this pre-engagement phase we have information gathering phase and also known as reconnaissance phase and in this phase the penetration team is supposed to collect as much information as possible about its target, about the organization's infrastructure or the application, whatever it is. So they have to collect information about their target. And to find this information, pen testers can use search engines to find information about target system or maybe application or the infrastructure. And uh, as an example, they can use this like Jordan.io that is actually a search engine which scans all the devices which are connected on the internet. They can also use who is and loop uh, NS lookup and that is used to get information about subdomains and their owners and the details of the owner. So like here you can see who is domain who is domain lookup is given. So in this way here you can you can enter some domain name here for some bbc.co.uk and you can get further subdomain information about that so this for uh, learning purpose and uh, yes yeah, so this is uh, this is something which they have shared on their link 
This can be used for the, I mean, to find out subdomains, owners, and details. And, and testers can also do some social engineering tricks. So social engineering means that they are some ways to trick the users who are working maybe in organization to give some private information about that organization. So for example, user receives some phishing emails and there is some links and they can click on this link and accidentally they can maybe sharing some information as well. So this is also one of the way to collect information about the target. And then we can also use some scanning tools like Nmap and that scanning tool is used to discover computers, means nodes and the services running on that. After this, we have the third phase that is about threat modeling. So in threat modeling, we identify possible vulnerabilities and the ways those vulnerabilities can be exploited by sub some, some external entities or cyber criminals. And in threat modeling, we do some planning of attacks based on information we gathered in previous phases. So we plan that what kind of attack we can uh, launch against a target against organization and for those attacks we also need some strategies which are also uh, discussed or, or finalized in this phase fourth phase is on vulnerability analysis in this phase we find out the open ports and services running on those machines or on those computers using some scanning tools and there are different scanning tools like Nessus, OpenVAS, Nikto, or Nmap, which we can use for scanning our targets. And this is one of the examples where we have used Nmap to scan a computer having this IP address. And you can see as a result, we can find, uh, we can see that there are some of the ports open on the target machine and there are some of the services running on that target machine. So in this way, we find out uh, the vulnerability, uh, this analysis. And here we also evaluate the exploits. So we, we use some exploits, again, those vulnerabilities. So we evaluate those exploits, whether they'll be successful or what, whether we will have some problem. So we, we evaluate those exploits. And after that, we have the exploitation phase. In this exploitation phase, the penetration uh, or the pen tester tries to get access to the system. They try to get to access to the system or the infrastructure of the organization. And they do by using vulnerabilities, which we found in previous phases. So there we found some vulnerability in the organization. And now in this phase, we try to access that system using those vulnerabilities. And for that, we need some exploits. And there is an exploit database here, you can see. And this exploit, exploit database is a CVE compliant archive of public exploits and corresponding vulnerable software developed uh, for use by penetration testers and vulnerability researchers. So that is publicly available database which we can use to find out exploit and relevant uh, about relevant weaknesses or the vulnerabilities. And by exploitation, actually we try to get administrative privileges to the systems to the target maybe we want to copy some of the file maybe delete some of the file or encrypt some files there so this can not only be the exploitation purpose but sometimes let's say we don't want to access the system but maybe we just want the system uh, busy so that nobody can get the services from that system like denial of service like that system will not be able to respond to legitimate users. So that's also an attack, exploitation. And here, this is an example, just uh, for example, we want, to, uh, we want to get into a system using maybe brute force attack or, or dictionary attack. So it's an example that we are trying to uh, break into the system using Hydra tool, which we'll be discussing in some other video. After exploitation phase, we have post exploitation phase. And in this post exploitation phase, actually we do the documentation of the methods we use to collect information. We use to exploit this, uh, 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 get uh, access to their system. So we do everything and what services we uh, 
um, exploited and um, these all things are documented. And we also do the vulnerability and their ranking in terms of their seriousness. For example, we found out that in this organization there was 10 vulnerabilities. So we, we, we actually rank them like there are some of the high risk vulnerability, there are some low risk vulnerability. So that kind of ranking is done in this post exploitation phase. And we also clean up or cover up the tracks to avoid being detected. For example, we attack this system and on this system, on this, we, we made some changes with, uh, we created some files. So we'll be trying to delete them so that we should not be detected. So here, like we should be deleting all the files which we create on our target machine. Or uh, in case if we created some new accounts on that machine, so we should also be removing those accounts. So these are some of the things we do in post exploitation phase. And the last phase is reporting. In reporting phase, we do the documentations of the nodes which we scan, or the, uh, the, the IPs we scan, ports, services, and, and the vulnerabilities we found. So that reporting will have the weaknesses as well as the suggestions for the organizations to improve its security posture. And that penetration testing generally has the executive summary. So in this executive summary, uh, we are supposed to be brief about vulnerabilities we found and the steps we take and, uh, and the recommendation and that should be the for the top management which are not more technical so that will be the executive summary and then this will also have a technical details and that technical details will, all, will again have the information about the weaknesses and some of the recommendations from us for the organization. But now this will be from technical point of view, they, this will be more details. This will be the last phase of penetration testing. And uh, this is very useful when we are working in some pen testing team or working on real projects. Hopefully this discussion was a bit helpful for you and I hope to see you on some other videos on pen testing.